Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, everybody. It's Carmina, Carmina Mez, and um, hope you're ready for a brand new week. It's Monday. I look a little tired. I didn't really sleep that well that night, last night, but whatever. It's a new week, so we just got to carry on, right? So um, I woke up this morning um, just kind of reminding myself of the challenge, right, that I've given myself um, 40 pounds that I could stand to lose. How I'm going to do it without dieting, without um, depriving myself, and without punishing exercises. And that's what I kind of was thinking when I wrote the, the title of, of today's post. Um, just because it's hard doesn't mean it's working. And what that reminded me of um, is um, last year around this time, I did a 39 mile race. It was over the course of two days. The first day we did a marathon, 26 miles. And the following day we did half a marathon. Now, I have to tell you, when I started this, this race, once I, was, once I started training for it, I just had no idea, zero, how I was, how I was going to do it. And in my mind, if this was not even in the realm of possibility, right? And, you know, I made it to the race, to race day and it took a lot of training. A lot of days where, you know, I was walking for eight to 10 hours, right? Because I had to get my body used to um, walking long distances. And, and so, you know, it took, you know, months and months of training to get there, right? And, you know, what I always say that was surprising to me, right, is that after all of this, right? After all the training, because really, what was I trying to accomplish? I just wanted to finish the race. I, I really wasn't concerned about being the fastest or anything like that. I just didn't want to embarrass myself and, and not finish it, right? So that's what I wanted to do. And then internally, though, there was a drive. There was a drive um, to prove to myself something, to prove to myself that I could do it to prove to, um, you know, other people who were kind of doubting me at first, you know, kind of doubting I could do it, um, just to show them. And sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes it takes, you know, that external um, push, that, that external, um, I don't know, opposition to get us to, to move forward. Right. And it's kind of like the same with this challenge that I've given myself because, you know, it's very public. You know, you guys know about it and, you know, it's a little intimidating. Right. But at the same time, while it is intimidating and while there's a lot of fear as to, well, can I really do this? Right. I know I can, but still, you know, there's, you, you're still going to doubt yourself. But still, there's that external drive right, that's pushing you because you've made it public. Now, um, the, the thing that I am coming up with, right, is that in something like this, just like when I was doing the race, the, the tendency, the, what's the word I'm looking for, the temptation is to want to go super fast, right? Like you go out of the gate and you're flowering ahead because you just want to get this thing done, right? So in the case of wanting to lose weight, you know, what is super tempting right now, right, is to go and do one of those crazy insanity workout programs. Hey, Lou Ann, good morning. Good morning, Asian. Good to have you guys on, right? It's to do something super, super um, hard just to like, oh my God, yes, I'm going to do this, right? This is normal. Like when you start something, your enthusiasm is at a whole all-time high, right? You just have, you want to power through it, you know? Um, I want to I wanna start saving money. So I'm going to have this crazy goal, right? That I'm going to set put away $2,000 a month, right? It's all of those things, 
it's normal. Our human nature just wants to walk through that wall, obliterate it, and get to the goal. Well, this is why, um, you know, a few years ago, when I did have that um, 12 pounds in 12 week thing, why the 12 pounds were important to me is not so much because it was 12 pounds. It was because it was easy. It was because I didn't have to suffer through it. And that's what I have to remind myself. Hey, Carla, good morning, girl. That's why I have to remind myself that, you know, just because it's hard doesn't mean it's working. Because here's what happened. After that race, I really didn't weigh that much less than I did before I started, even though I was training like crazy, even though I was spending eight, 10 hours walking, you know, like in straight in, in one go, even though that day, well, over two days, I did 39 miles, right? Now there's a lot of reasons why, you know, and I just, you know, just to give you one, the reason is that when you're, when you're exerting that much physical activity, you have to replenish it, right? You're eating more, your appetite increases. So that's normal. Um, but you know, whatever. My point is, you know, just because something is hard doesn't mean it's working. And so for me, the lesson that I'm taking as I'm starting this new journey is that in order to slim down, I have to slow down because this is what I teach you guys and this is what I believe in because I know it works and I know it will work again. The center is going to be, am I going to be patient enough to power through it, to accept that it is going to take time and just go with it. That is the challenge. Not so much whether I can lose the weight. I know I can lose the weight. I've lost the weight before, but can I resist the temptation to power through it just because I want to get there fast, right? So anyway, that's the, the kind of the, the conflict that I know I'm going to have to um, deal with. Um, but at the, end of the, at, at the end of that tunnel, right, there is a prize. It's a prize, not so much the pounds. Yeah, so, you know, that, it's always nice to weigh less, right? It's always nice to, you know, uh, um, to have smaller clothes fit you. Always nice. But really what I'm going for is the transformation. The transformation of who am I going to become at the end of this journey? Who are you going to become at the end of this journey? Because when we get on something like this, whether it's weight loss, whether it's saving money, whether it's getting a, you know, a new job or whatever it is, it's not the thing. The thing is a thing. It's nothing but a thing. But there is an ultimate motive, an ultimate transformation that right now, when you're starting, you, you, you can't phantom what it is. But when you get there, then you realize, oh my God, I had to become a different person, a better version of myself in order to attain this goal. And so that's what I'm going for. That's what I wish for you um, if you're going along with me, if you're tagging along on this journey. And I am so, so super excited um, um, about this new book that I'm going to have out um, I'm planning it to be for my birthday, which is um, November 17. So I have what about three weeks or so. Um, putting the the powering through it over the weekend and at night. And um, this is a book where I kind of distill, you know, my journey um, before, you know, all the stuff that I have learned along the way, and um, to help you ditch the diet mentality, right? Because that is the challenge for me in this particular challenge, right? Is to stick to my gun and go with what works. So 40 pounds and nothing but a thing, girl. You got this. Have a great day and I will see you here tomorrow.